In this tutorial, I'll cover the following topics. I'll demonstrate how to make and receive calls. We'll view the redial list, callers list, and directory. I'll show you how to use the speakerphone. I'll mute a call and then place the call on hold. I'll transfer a call, set up a conference call, and we'll go over some commonly used features on the soft keys. Voicemail, do not disturb, call forward, shared call appearance, busy lamp field, call poll, XML, speed dial, and the more function. The features used in this tutorial are for training purposes only. Depending on your telephone system and how your phone is set up, your phone may not use all of the features listed in this tutorial. To make a call, you can press the line button, or the hands free button, or pick up the handset to get dial tone, and then dial the number. Or, with live dial pad turned on, you can simply dial the number and automatically use the hands free function. As I press line 1, notice the top left corner. This will display the line number that is being used. In this case, L1 is displayed for line 1. Depending on your telephone system, your name and number that is associated with line 1 may also be displayed. If I press the line 2 key, L2 is displayed, and again the name and number associated with line 2 may be displayed. The 6867i supports HiQ, a wideband audio technology. HiQ delivers enhanced audio performance and superior voice clarity. HiQ will automatically be used when available. When you have finished with your call, press the goodbye button to hang up. If you would like to redial a previously dialed number, press the redial button. The redial feature stores up to 100 of the last dialed numbers. Use the up and down arrows on the navigation button to cycle through the list. With an entry highlighted, you can dial the number, delete the entry, and if enabled, you can copy and save the entry to your personal directory. The callers list is a stored log of incoming calls containing up to 200 entries. It stores the name, if available, phone number, call time, date, and missed or answered call status. The callers list displays from the newest incoming calls to the oldest incoming calls and is grouped by date. Use the up and down arrows on the navigation button to cycle through the callers list. You can dial the number by going off hook, edit the number, show details about the call, delete the entry, and if enabled, you can copy and save the entry to your personal directory. The directory is your personal phone book stored within the phone. You can enter up to 200 entries into the directory by adding them manually or by using the copy function in the callers list or redial list. I'll demonstrate how to add an entry from the callers list. Use the navigation button to highlight an entry. Then press the copy soft key to save the entry to the directory. Now I'll go back to the directory and there it is. I can edit the entry or delete it. To dial the entry, highlight it, and lift the handset or press the center navigation button. Next, I'll answer a call using the hands-free mode. Then I'll mute that call. Then I'll place the call on hold. When you have an incoming call, by leaving the handset on hook and pressing the line that is flashing or the hands-free button on my phone, this activates the hands-free speaker mode. This was set up in the audio mode menu in the options list. Notice the hands-free LED is on solid. This indicates speakerphone mode. The hands-free microphone is located beneath the dial pad. Be careful not to obstruct the microphone, for example with papers or books. If I pick up the handset, the hands-free button is no longer lit and I can continue my conversation on the handset. If I press the hands-free button again, the call is switched back to my speakerphone and I can continue the call and return the handset back to the cradle. When I press the mute button, you'll know the mute feature has been activated when the mute button is flashing red. Press the mute button again to unmute the call. Now I'll place the call on hold. When a call has been placed on hold, the line key and the ringer LED both flash and the LCD icon changes. Pressing the hold key a second time or pressing the flashing line key will remove the call from hold 
and connect you back to your caller. Now I'll demonstrate how to transfer a call. The first thing I need to do is to answer this incoming call. After I answer it, I find out they need to be transferred to another number. When I press the transfer button or the transfer soft key, both are the same, so use whichever is most convenient for you. After I press the transfer key, I have two ways I can transfer this call. I can perform an unsupervised transfer, I can dial the number and then hang up, and the call is automatically transferred to that number. Or, I can perform a supervised transfer. This is where I dial the number, I wait for the person to answer, and I give them a heads up on who's calling. As soon as I hang up, press the transfer button or soft key, or press the goodbye button, the call will be connected to the person I'm transferring the call to. Now I'll demonstrate how to establish an N-way conference call. N-way conferencing is similar to three-way conferencing, but allows for a higher number of parties to be conferenced together. The first step is to dial the first party. Once they answer, I'll press the conference soft key. Once I push the conference soft key, this will put them into a hold state. Then I'll dial the second party. Notice as I add each party, the screen is split into two parts. The top half shows the existing call or conference and the bottom half of the screen shows the person I am calling and wanting to add to the conference bridge. As soon as the person I call answers, you will see two soft key choices display, drop and conference. I would press the drop soft key if I got their voicemail or after I talk with them for a moment I find out they don't have time right now or maybe they're not the right person to join the conference call. These are all reasons why you might press the drop soft key before you add them to the conference call. Now let's say they answer and they're ready to join the conference. Then I would simply press the conference soft key. Watch the two halves of the screen become one box with the word conference as my new party is added to the conference bridge. If I want to add another party to the conference, I would just repeat the process. Press the conference soft key, dial the next number, when they answer, press the conference soft key and they are added to the conference. When the conference call is complete, I can press the goodbye key or the drop soft key to disconnect all parties and end the conference call. Now let's take a look at the LCD screen and the 10 soft keys. The 10 soft keys are divided into 6 top and 4 bottom soft keys. If you have six or more active soft keys in the upper section or four in the lower section, the more key will appear in the bottom or right corner of that section. The more soft key is used to advance to the next page. The benefits of pre-programmed soft keys is that they can provide additional functionality and give quick access to commonly used features. We'll look at the features programmed on the top soft keys first. You may have a voicemail soft key. This will allow you to check your voicemail. You may be prompted to enter a password or passcode. If you do not know your password or passcode, check with your system administrator. Follow the voice prompts to check voicemail. You can also follow the voice prompts to customize your voicemail greeting. D&D, &D, or Do Not Disturb, is a feature on the phone that when activated, prevents the phone from ringing or receiving incoming calls. When you press the D&D &D button, the LED lights up, the ringer slash message waiting indicator lights up, and the D&D status is displayed on the LCD screen. When a user calls a number that has D&D turned on, the caller will be sent to voicemail or get a busy tone if your phone does not have voicemail. Pressing the D&D button a second time will turn off the Do Not Disturb feature. Call Forward is available through the options list. Arrow over to Call Forward and press the Select Soft key. For convenience, my administrator has programmed the Call Forward feature on my third top soft key. There are three Call Forward options listed. However, I will only demonstrate Call Forward All. The other options are Call Forward Busy and Call Forward No Answer. They are programmed using the same process. The account shows the name and number we are forwarding. Notice the field All is highlighted. I'll enter the phone number where I want all calls to be forwarded to. Use the navigation pad 
and press the down arrow once to move on to the next field, on. This is where we will turn call forward on or off. A check mark in this box indicates call forward is on. No check mark indicates call forward is off. With the on box highlighted, press the center navigation button to select and put a check mark in the on box. Then press the save soft key. All calls will now be forwarded to my designated number. Notice the call forward icon on the top of the screen. Also notice the ringer slash message waiting light is lit. And if you have a call forward soft key, the LED is lit. To turn off call forward all, return to the call forward menu through the options list or the call forward soft key. Press the down arrow and press the center navigation button to remove the check mark. Then press the save soft key. The call forward feature is now turned off. SCA, or shared call appearance, is when multiple phones have a line key or a soft key that share the same telephone number. For this example, this 6863i desk phone belongs to Gina Wilson and has the primary number of 469-365-3938. And on my 6867i desk phone, 469-365-3938 has been programmed to show up on my fourth soft key. So when a caller dials Gina Wilson's phone number, 469-365-3938, that incoming call is presented to both phones simultaneously. Our LEDs are in sync, and when Gina's phone ending in number 3938 has an incoming call, my phone rings also. If I answer the call, then put the call on hold. Gina can press the line button on her phone and remove the call from hold. Now watch the display on my phone, Mike Murphy. The last four digits of my number are 3535. If I press the fourth soft key to make a call, the caller ID will display Gina's name and number in this case, 469-365-3938. The next feature is Busy Lamp Field. The Busy Lamp Field feature, or BLF, is used to monitor the status of the line that belongs to someone else's phone. With a BLF soft key, you cannot answer their incoming calls. You cannot make a call on their line. It is only for monitoring the status. The LED will light up when that person is on the line and the LED will flash when they get an incoming call. The only thing that happens when you push the busy lamp field soft key is that it speed dials that person. So this is much different than the shared call appearance feature that we saw earlier. With the shared call appearance soft key, I am sharing the line with another person. I can answer their calls and make calls on that line. With the feature I'm showing you right now, the busy lamp field soft key, it is only to display the status of someone else's line. I can only see the LED lighting up when they are on a call or receiving an incoming call. I cannot do anything with that line except see the status. Call Poll is a feature that allows you to take an active call and switch the call between your 6867i desk phone and your mobile device seamlessly and without interruption. For example, if you're on a call on your 6867i desk phone and need to leave your desk and would like to continue the phone call on your mobile phone, you would activate the call poll feature. This would automatically and seamlessly switch the call from your 6867i desk phone to your mobile phone. The call poll feature is different than a transfer. I don't ask anybody to hold on. I simply invoke the feature. It seamlessly switches the call from one phone to another and is transparent to the person I'm talking with. First, I'll demonstrate how to switch the call on my 6867i desk phone to my mobile phone. I will establish a call on my 6867i desk phone. Now let's switch the call to my mobile phone. On my mobile phone, I will dial the voice portal dial-in number. Follow the voice prompts to authenticate, and when I'm prompted, Enter the destination digits. I will dial star 11 to activate the call poll feature. The call switches and is now active on my mobile device. Now I'll demonstrate 
how to make a call on my mobile phone and switch the call to my 6867i desk phone. On my mobile phone, I will dial the voice portal dial-in number. Follow the voice prompts. Then I will dial the number I want to talk to. I now have a call on my mobile device. To switch the call to my 6867i desk phone, on my 6867i desk phone, I will press the call pole soft key. I could also manually dial star 11. And the call is switched to my 6867i desk phone. Your phone may have XML applications on the soft keys. It may be something that accesses or searches the internet, such as Google, weather, or stock quotes. Or something internal, such as inventory queries, status of orders, or database lookups. If you find yourself using XML applications on a regular basis, you may want to order the easy-to-use optional magnetic keyboard. To program a speed dial number on a soft key, press and hold an available soft key for three seconds. Available soft keys have no display next to the soft key. Use the dial pad to enter the name. You can use the ABC soft key to specify uppercase, lowercase, or numbers. Use the back soft key to erase one letter at a time. When you are finished with the name, press the down arrow and enter the number. Press the down arrow and select the line you want to use when speed dialing this number. When you are finished, press the Save Soft key. Notice the speed dial number is now displayed on my LCD screen. Additional information on speed dial is available in a separate tutorial titled 6867i Personalize, Setup, and Customize. The More function. This is a perfect time for me to mention that the bottom soft keys have four physical buttons but can be programmed with up to 18 functions. As features and speed dial keys are added and fill up the soft keys, they are simply added to the next page of soft keys. When more pages of soft keys are available, you will see the right soft key change to the More icon indicated by dots. The highlighted dot represents your page location. To advance to the next page, press the More Soft key. Pressing the More Soft key will cycle through your pages and back to the first page of Soft Keys. The More function also works with the top Soft Keys. The top Soft Keys have six physical buttons, but can have up to 20 functions, and the More Soft key would be located on the sixth button of the top Soft Keys. This completes this tutorial on the 6867i End User Training and Features.